Hi, so welcome to the second video in this series of for the makeover project. So in this video, we're going to design the first screen for the World Drugs app. And um, here we are in Xcode. So I've already done this, but I'm just going to walk you through basically what I've done up until now. So um, first of all, let's change. This is the view controller for the main screen. That's what you see here. Right, so I've actually done something very similar here. I've done, I uh, made a new view controller which looks very similar, and then I'll walk you through the changes which I which I've done. But before we go ahead, let me change the main window, the zip file, to make sure that that view controller is called when I start the application. So if I go in here and I say Medi Converter View Controller, I think I called it new, and then the new name to call is also also has new at the end of it so now let's go to that new controller so what I've done is I've removed the segmented control um, we have the text the text search here and then there's a button there's a button here behind yeah that's that's the button for the search button so what I've done is I've made those smaller like basically I've made those smaller and then we're going to design them as we go along. So where do we start with? Let's start with uh, the segmented control, right? So what I'm going to do is um, add, I added the custom segmented control classes from the social view template. So basically this, this is the cons um, this is the code for the sample segment. And then what we need to do is plug this into our view controller. So you can find, if you have access to the social view template, all you have to do is just basically go into the folder that is called custom segmented control and then pull that into your project and add that as a reference in your project okay so now then let's go into the code for the view controller and then what we need to do is look for the view did load method and then make sure we load our segmented control so what we're going to do now is uh uncomment that so what i've done here is of uh, we need titles for our segmented control so here we have the product molecular indication so here are the titles and then they have been localized well done oh, good job Ari so they've been localized so we have the array of titles and then we'll initialize our sample segment set the title method in here and then give it the delegate and make sure that the delegate is the self so what we need to also make sure to do is to um, add into our interface here the sample segment delegate so that's that one in there and i think we're almost done okay yeah, before we do that we of course definitely add it to our sub view and then we release it at the end if you're using the arc then you don't need to do that but then yeah for now let's leave it like that so if i run this i should have my sample segment coming up All right, so if I run this, this is now what I have, right? So now we have the segmented control in there. But then, of course, you can see that um, we can select that, but it doesn't look very nice on this background. So we're going to have to add the background for the social view template as well. And then what I've also done is if you actually take a look at um, this folder, I've add, I have added the images for the social view template in here. So th these are the resources. So if you click on, for example, background or PNG, you have a kind of greenish background in there. And that's what we're going to use now. We have the green buttons. We have the camera. We have, yeah, basically other stuff as well. So make sure to add the images to your project when you're about to start working on them. So let's look for the view the load method and then um yeah so basically after this i mean i've done that below there but i'm just going to do it again self dot back self dot view the background color and then we're going to use a ui color with pattern image and then we're going to pull that from the background of png so now we now have so can remove that now. So we should have the background color to be green, so that that looks very nice with our social view template. 
So if I run that, yeah, that looks better now. So now I think we are almost getting there. It's starting to look like something that we we'll want to that looks better than the initial what we started with. So what's the next step? Um, the next step is also to add background for the text input in here. If you see in our Photoshop file, I mean the elements, we had like a dark text input, which actually looks very nice in the contrast with the background in there. So I think that image is called text input.png. So if I go back to Xcode, and I actually go to the zip file, the interface builder file, and I select that, I can easily go to my text input and then give it a background text input.png and that's it so let's run that and see what we get as well yeah so we have a nice text input there so what's the next step let's make that button look nice the button is here hidden behind this custom HUD that Aria has made so if I select that now and I think my image is called um, button green I think so we have that and then if you see we have some white areas around that's because the it's still a rounded red I think so I have to make that a custom button and then we have it looking very nice no let's move this away for now while we do that so we have a rounded red and then we need to also change the color of that text so going into our um Photoshop file you see here we have a white text you see here that we have a white text um, color so if I go in here and I just select that and I give it give that a white color so let's go to the grayscale slider slide that across and then give it a gray drop drop shadow in there So you see that's actually done nicely now. So if you see here, the, the drop shadow was inside the text. So in, in here, we're going to have the same as well. So let's run that. And let's see how that looks. All right, so we have the selection, the text, and then the... Hmm, I think that's because the, the font's actually very large here. Now let's try and reduce the font for that one. 18 that's kind of big Let's make up 14 is that enough we'll see yeah that looks better okay so what you've noticed that I've also done down here is uh, um which I didn't show but anyways I can easily explain how that looks so in the initial screen we had like a big massive block of information here I would always say that when you have uh, information about your product, it's it's not best to make that front and center. It's good to have that in a smaller area, and then people can actually click and find more information. For example, if you go to the About for Xcode, it's not a massive window. It's actually smaller. You can see more information. So you, the idea about design is to have the main information that you want front and center, and then all the sub information like look like subtitles right so I don't know if I explained that very well so basically what I've done here is to make the information kind of smaller it was actually very large from here up to down here so what I want to do is now is also connect those um, the text that was supposed to be shown in here so if we go back to our Medi Converter view, view controller new I think I already commented that out so what this is, maybe it's best to explain that before I start changing stuff, is a big button. There's a big button with a background called list element of PNG, right? And then when you click on that, that would show your settings at the background. And then we have information about the version of the version of the software and then um, some copyright information. So going back to the the code. If I uncomment that, so here we have the text for the info label. So those three that you saw there, those three labels that you saw at the bottom here, 
is going to be for to show the information so what i've done here is basically connected those three in here so if i hover over that you see that that's set to that if i wanted to do that manually just click do that manually so i would drag that across and then connect that to my labels do that for info 2 and then do that for info 3 and then in the code of course we don't set the title or set the the text for the labels so if i run that then you see now we have more information so we can, apparently ari has ha over half a million products in the database well wow, it's a very nice app oh yeah i can actually show you the initial version using this that's how it looked initially so there were like three buttons and then that was actually kind of large i would prefer it well it's my per personal preference that it looks that it's actually small and not in the way of everything okay so we're almost done with the first screen the next thing we have to do is um add a nice um navigation bar in there and that's actually the easiest bit that's the easiest that's the one i always like doing which makes a, a it's very easy and it makes a lot of impact so I'm looking for the app delegate right now. Yeah, that's it, the app delegate. So let's uncomment those two lines. So what we have here is the navbar image called menubar.png. Let's go see how that looks like. Is it in here? All right, that's it. Let's look for a bigger one. So we're gonna have like a nice fabric texture with a stitched threading going through that and that's going to be our menu bar so all we have to do is use the ios 5 appearance sdk so basically it's a ui navigation bar appearance and then let's set the background image to that image that we just made and that's all we need to do so if we run that we have a nice navigation bar so that's it so for this screen it's taken us about well let's say about what 10 to 15 minutes well that's because I've, I've done the work up front but while I was doing that <clears throat> sorry while I was doing that I think it took me about 20 minutes to basically de transform this screen to what you've seen right now let um I'm trying to see how we can do it so you can see the original version okay you know what because I've changed this now it's not gonna be possible to do that but then I'll put a picture up where you're gonna see this version compared to the original version like a before and after picture like you're always seeing weight loss advertisements and then yeah i hope you like what you see so now we can search for ibuprofen here and then click on search product and then the next step is to of course customize that back button and then customize this list view here so that's going to come in the next video thanks for watching this one if you have any questions just let me know send me an email or just leave a comment on this post